What is up guys, Vortex TCG here, and today I'm going to be showcasing you a deck that I think is getting a little bit of momentum, kind of like a fan favourite, but also a relatively cheap deck in the BT15 meta, and that is going to be Rosemon. Rosemon, kind of surprisingly getting more support in BT15 with the introduction of its ex-antibody forms, so Palmon, Toge, Lily, and Rose all have their ex-antibody forms in this set, and it turns out they're pretty good. So I'm gonna showcase you my build of the deck and uh, let's get straight into it. But before we do that, please do like and subscribe to the channel and also follow me on my socials. Really do appreciate it, but let's not wait any longer. Let's get into the deck profile. All right, so here we are with the deck and uh, let's go over some of the cards because I know there's gonna be some questions about some choices that I'm making in this deck and uh, we'll go over that when we get to it. So essentially, let's go start off with the eggs. And for eggs, I am playing four Tanemon from BT11. The reason why I'm playing this is because I really do prefer draw and stuff like the gummy and stuff like uh, the one from BT13, I think it is, which allows you to suspend a guy for a draw. Oh no, EX4, apologies. Um, I just don't find very consistent, unfortunately. However, you're always gonna play out a green tamer most of the time, because uh, you kind of need it for this deck. So just having the immediate draw from that is quite nice, and it combos very well with your level four. You go into your level four, suspend it, play a tamer, get a draw card, get to do a search as well. So uh, for that reason, I play the Tamemon. There are other ones you could play, you could play the BT14 Tamemon, for example, which will give you 2K DP. I don't like it as much because there's a lot of DP gain in this deck anyways. Um, but yeah, I play for Tanemon. Going on to our first level three, and it's Palmon from BT14. This is essentially an ice wall on legs, but that's not actually the most important part. The most important part of this card is its inheritable effect for me, whereas like if it were to Digivolve, if you have a green tamer, you get to reduce the cost by one. This is essentially a pseudo training card um, on legs, and for that reason, it is very important for the strategy. It's also a vegetation, so it's searchable. And uh, yeah, sometimes the ice wall effect does come up, especially if you're you're playing something that can unspend multiple times in a given turn um, but for the most part it is that inheritable effect that you're looking for and i play four of it for that reason next card is bt10 palmon this is your searcher outside of your tamer essentially get to reveal top four add a vegetation or a plant and then you also get to add a fairy to your hand as well um, this is essentially mandatory in my opinion um, just being able to search all of your deck is obviously very powerful and this deck doesn't have many ways of, of drawing or searching uh, other than through this and the tamer so i feel like it is pretty necessary to play a power one in this situation and the also the good part about this card is that Obviously now there's Palmon X antibody, uh, that's just another body essentially for that. So I play four Palmon from BT11. Rounding off the rookie lineup is the new Palmon X antibody from BT15. Uh, this has just a simple effect uh, on play when did you evolving suspend a guy and then as inheritable when one of your green tamers is played gain one memory so essentially what this card does for us is that it's kind of like a cornerstone of the deck um, we want to suspend guys for effects and the additional bonus of gaining a memory as well when you play a tamer which you'll do through the togemon which i'll showcase in a bit um, is pretty nice so this is just pretty much an instant four of in the deck it is so strong uh, for this version of the deck going into level fours now and we have togemon from bt14 this allows you to reduce the cost of a tamer that you play by three uh, by suspending one of your green digimon and most of the time it's going to be this togemon because well you're going to have like one body out for the most part but you can also do it on like a search of power one as well but it also has the same inheritable as the bt14 power one which helps us reduce digi evolution costs so uh, this card is very pivotal for this strategy because essentially this just means play a tamer for free i know a lot of decks have it at the level four uh range essentially but in this case it is very important playing out things for free obviously huge acceleration for the deck and uh, for that reason you play four of it in your deck 
Then I play two Togemon from EX1. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why I play this over other cards, such as the Sunflower Mon, for example. Obviously, I know that that card is very powerful and you can definitely put it in the slot of this, but I don't like it as much because as we're playing X antibodies, we obviously want to find Togemons that we can digivolve onto the to uh, Togemon X antibody. So this is probably the best one there are different ones like searchers and ones that don't really have very powerful effects but i like this one because it is just a nice 2k dp bonus uh when one of your opponent's digimon gets suspended and obviously rosemon does that in spades so uh it's also got 5k which is pretty nice it helps us uh, avoid deletion in some situations so uh yeah in my opinion i think it's pretty good obviously you can play stuff like the sunflower mon but uh, i play the togemon in my version the final level 4 that we play in this deck is obviously the Togemon X Antibody. Has some really good utility, obviously Digivolves for free on a Togemon. When Digivolving, one of your opponent's Digimon can't unsuspend until the end of your turn. Opponent's turn until the end of their turn, sorry. And then if there's Togemon, you also get to uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. So essentially this is going to lock up your opponent for a turn. Essentially they can't swing with it, which is quite huge. Um, it also has an inheritable effect of this Digimon gains 1k DP for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon. So that stacks, so you can get potentially up to 2 to 3k depending on how wide their board goes. And uh, that's important. Unfortunately, it's not all turns, it's only on your turn, which kind of hinders the card a little bit. But in my opinion, this card is still very strong and you play four of it in the deck. Then we go into our level fives and we play two Lilymon from EX1. This is kind of a more generic option. It's probably one of the better options that you have, unfortunately, which I don't think is very good, but um, you do have access to Secure Attack Plus One when your opponent's Digimon is suspended. So yeah, it's, it's okay. It's nothing game changing, but in reality, there isn't really anything else in the Lilymon slot other than the other card, but I don't really like the other card that much either. So I just play two Lilymon in this slot. Then we get on to the only other Lilymon I would consider playing, and that is the Lilymon Ace. Obviously, it is an Ace card, so it's pretty powerful. It can play for four, uh, has the Blast Digivolve effect as usual, but it also has an on-play and when Digivolving effect of you can suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then you can return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon with 5k DP or less to the bottom of the deck. Uh, this is just a nice interruption card because sometimes we end the game or the end the board essentially with a level four. And for that reason, this is actually a pretty valuable card in those situations, but it's also just pretty good just by playing it just on its own. And for that reason, I do play it too. I don't play it more, unfortunately, because I think it can be a little bit more clunky. It doesn't have as great utility when you go into your Rosemons, for example. Um, and unfortunately, it is only on 5k DP guys, unfortunately. So it feels a little bit lackluster in that regard as well. So I play two Lilymon Ace. Rounding off the level fives is obviously the Lilymon X antibody. It has the same inheritable effect as the Togemon X antibody, but it also has a pretty powerful when digivolving effect. You get, if there's a suspended Digimon, you gain a memory. And then if you have a uh, Lilymon or X antibody in this uh, Digi-Evolution cards, draw one for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon. This can go crazy, obviously. You can go for just one draw or you can go for like five draws. Um, the variance is quite huge. And uh, yeah, this card is crazy. I wish maybe it was like the memory gain and then the draw, but um, yeah, either way, this card is insane, um, has great utility in this deck, and you play at four. Going to our level sixes now, and we have Rosemon uh, from BT14. There's a theme going on here, 14 and 15 uh, Digimon sets. Uh, when did you and when attack it, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers, and then your turn, once per turn, when an effect suspends a Digimon or Tamer, you may unsuspend this Digimon. This means that we can go for you know huge swing turns, which is quite nice, especially with stuff like the Lilymon from EX one you can pretty much like swing unspend swing again do four checks potentially at a high dp number and uh yeah it's obviously very powerful uh you know the constant suspending effect is quite nice and it's not once per turn on the suspend effect as well you can do it when you digivolve and you can also do it when you swing as well so a lot of the new digimon at this point are doing it with like once per turn clauses attached to this but with rosemon you get to do it whenever so that feels uh, pretty good and it's also important to know that um, when you do 
if, it's, if you have like another card that suspends uh, on the field, um, you can unsuspend it without this card essentially uh, being connected to it. So if you have something like the uh, Togemon out, for example, this will activate the Rosemon and then you can do another swing. So uh, pretty good card you play F4. Then we get onto the boss monster, uh, which is the Rosemon X antibody. This has a lot of effects, which I wasn't or was kind of surprised about. Usually you only get like one or two effects on a Digimon card. This has three. Uh, it has the effects of suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and one of their tamers. They can't unsuspend until the end of their turn, which is huge. Um, opponent's turn, when an opponent's Digimon is played, you can suspend that Digimon, and then opponent's turn, when an opponent's Digimon moves from the breeding area, uh, from the breeding area to the battle area, if Rosemon or X Antibody is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, you can suspend one of their Digimon. So, yeah, this is just a huge control piece. If you play something, you get suspended. If you decide to bring something up, you get suspended. So there's very little playability or pl like plays that they can actually deal with this card, except for just like deleting it outright, essentially. So for that reason, this card's pretty good. Um, obviously, it can get huge bonuses from the... Uh, you know, the Togays, the Lilymons, you know, gaining 1k DV for each of the suspended guys. Um, and then on the following turn, you can go for a huge swing turn potentially. So yeah, I play three of it. I think floor is at four is a bit clunky, um, but sometimes I just have trouble finding the Rosemon in the game. So I like to play three for that consistency boost. Of course, it's obviously going to be one Quartzmon. There isn't really much to say about this card. Just suspends everything. Gets a trash card up to uh, uh, up to number of cards on the field by five, and then yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about this card. This card is just a huge game changer for the game. It essentially just says. Uh oh, if my opponent can't delete this, that means you win the game. So it's that powerful and you do have to play out one. For options, we have X antibody protoform. Uh, there isn't really a use case for the other X antibody in this deck. Protoform is just better in pretty much every way, especially as it provides protection. Protection is definitely needed in this deck and it definitely works uh, for that reason and the fact that it also puts it to the top of the security stack as well is quite huge because essentially just means you're going to loop it for, for pretty much ever you get to you know protect it put it to security get to if they swing at security get it again and then put it underneath the digimon again so it's just a really nasty loop if your opponent can't deal with it by dealing two deletions essentially so um yeah this card is really good uh, not to mention the fact that it allows Allows you to digivolve for one cheaper as well which you know obviously very nice in a deck that requires you well wants you to digivolve for cheaper as a whole so very important you play two of it hidden potential discovered there isn't really much to say about this we'll move on agility training now i think you could potentially actually just play the green memory boosts that are available because i think the one thing you need more is searchability and the reducing effect while it is nice a lot of the cards already do that as as is but the reason why i do play this one over the uh the memory boost in this situation is because sometimes you know you don't play that many tamers so you need to find those tamers and this card can definitely help you find those tamers and there's also just cases of when you need that digi redu digi revolution reduction because you can't you know activate the effects you need to have the palmon out first then digivolve on top of it and then use it so for that reason um it is a very important card in the strat <coughs> so i play free going on to tamers now and we have for Mimi from BT14, this is a searcher, gets revealed top three, add one Digimon card with vegetation, plant, or fairy in its name for the rest of the bottom. And then when an effect suspends a Digimon by suspending this tamer, you also gain a memory. So essentially, a lot of the time, this is going to be a very, very cheap tamer because you're going to be playing it for free through the Togemon. And then when you go into something like the Togemon X antibody, you can then go and suspend some stuff. Uh, or you can just play a power mod, suspend it, gain a memory. Um, and that, for that reason, it is a very powerful card. Uh, it's obviously a corner stone of the strategy so obviously you have to play four of it round of the deck off we have two mimi from bt1 uh, kind of like a cornerstone again of this deck set to free free memory is all you pretty much need in this deck there's only sometimes where it's like all oh, you need a little bit more but it doesn't really come up that much but the main effect is when you if you have a level five or higher green digimon in play you can suspend this tamer to hatch a digimon egg card this counts as an effect as well which is huge for potential other cards you might want to play in this strategy 
um, such as the BT-14, because it's by an effect, you get to gain 2k DP when you suspend this guy, but uh, that's just something that you could potentially be doing if you decide to play the Tamimon from BT-14. But uh, yeah, just having the ability to continuously push guys or hatch eggs ready for the following turn, uh, turns out it's pretty good. Um, essentially, it just means that you'll either be close or always have a target for suspending your own guys if needed. Um, so yeah, play two of it. And so that has been my deck profile on Rosemon. Rosemon is definitely an interesting archetype. It's changed its kind of play style over the sets from EX1 all the way to essentially now in BT15. And I kind of like where it is right now. It's kind of like a control deck, but not super heavy into control like other green decks. And uh, yeah, I kind of like it. Um, might play some more of it and showcase some gameplay of it in the future. And if you're looking forward to that, uh, please do let me know in the comments section down below. But that has been my deck profile for Rosemon. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.